with just the 1500 meters to go that is the situation in the decathlon okay Newell of Estonia there are a lot of Estonians in this crowd they're gonna go berserk if his man if their man can win the gold medal 7974 points 106 points uh, ahead of Edward Hamelainen of Finland the pre-event favorite 7868 and he himself is 40 points ahead of Lev Lobodin of Russia, but he's only six points ahead of Magnussen of Iceland. Now, with one second equaling seven points on the IWF scoring tables, well, I think you can see for yourself, Lobodin, for instance, less than a second in bronze medal position ahead of Magnussen of Iceland. Newell's got a pretty good cushion. He's got about 13 or 14 seconds. Hamelainen's going to have to watch what uh, Lobodin does because uh, he's about six and a half seconds ahead of the Russian. It's been a good two days. Okay, Newell there just walking away to the left. He, with Hamelainen, were the favorites coming into this competition. Okay, Newell had won uh, the famous Gotsis decathlon with a lifetime best score so everybody knew he was in good form Hamelainen the taller of the two men they're just standing behind him and uh, I just wonder what they're discussing the list that I've got Stuart for this 1500 meters normally at the end of the two days of competition uh, they're seeded and put into a couple of heats but at the moment we've got 20 athletes in a single heat which uh, over the last few major championships I've never ever seen that before I can't really believe that that's going to happen I think that some of them are moving off the track I you're quite right they do go in uh, in heats but remember this is not a, a 1500 meter race it is a 1500 meter time trial and uh, they will convert those times into individual points so it's not necessarily the person that wins the 1500 meters that will actually win the decathlon we're sometimes looking down to third and fourth places uh, uh, for the winner but this is the event that they hate. They have to go through two days of competition and end up with running three and three quarter laps of the track. And it's a real challenge to mind and body this. And some of these guys who can throw the shot, throw the discus and vault and do the heavy things have got to run all of a sudden a middle distance race. And that is a great test in itself. There really are some pretty sorry sights at the end of this 1500 meters as well, but there's a tremendous amount of camaraderie here. Remember the days of Daly Thompson winning his major championships? He dragged all the competitors round a lap of honor right at the end, and they would all go together. We're certainly gonna have a new champion, that's for sure. I personally would like it to be Erky Newell. He's a very, very nice guy indeed, and he's been slogging away in competition and in training for many years now. I think it would be just reward for him if he did get this one. Edward Hamelane in two. He's been around for a long time. Three times a world championship silver medalist. But I think this time, unless he does something spectacular, he's going to miss out. Well, they're both actually Newell and uh, Hamelane and have got similar best performances in the uh, uh, 1500 meters Hammerlinen has a slightly better time at 422 and at Newell 431 if they're running around about 422 425 then we're going to get a score overall of around about 877 or even more and that's a very big score so uh, it's been a, a world-class uh, decathlon there's no doubt about that and if you were looking at an Olympic final or world championship final you'd be looking at these guys plus a couple of Americans perhaps well, the big two names in uh, decathlon as far as the United States are concerned at the moment, of course, are Chris Huff Huffins and Dan O'Brien, the world record holder. Good luck, says Dangard. Man next to him. Says good luck, too, to Lev Lobodin, the Russian who's in with a shout for a medal. Just panning across there, Edward Hemmerleinen, 261. John Anna Magnuson with a little goatee beard there. A little guy, but a man who can put the shot 16 meters. Amongst all the other extraordinary things he's been doing over the last couple of days, there he is with his number upside down. 
Magnussen, though, just to give you an idea. OK, Noel, the leader at the moment, 10.58 for the 100 metres, followed by 7 metres 80 in the long jump. These, are really, these guys are really a one-man athletics team. Newell, 40 metres 40 in the shot, 197 in the high jump, and 46.67 seconds for the 400 metres at the end of day one. And then 14.68 for the hurdles. 40 metre discus throw, 540 in the pole vault, and 70 metres in the javelin. And it was really those last two events that have taken Erky Newell, who goes straight into the lead, straight to the top of the leaderboard. Just to remind you, he's 106 points ahead of Edward Hammerlinen at the moment. And already Hammerlinen, well, he's way, way down off the pace that is currently being set by one of the Hungarians, I think it's Jabo. Hungarian right behind him as well, Zivotsky. And that name means a lot to me. His father was an Olympic hammer champion back in 1968, so I reckon that he will be in the stadium shouting for his son. Zivotsky in second place there had a brilliant high jump. It was 2 metres 18. So it's Hungary one and two, and listen to the roars of the crowd, with Newell in fourth place. Newell being passed by Jack Rosendahl of the Netherlands, but all those guys in front of him at the moment, no disrespect, Stuart, but they're also rans in terms of what is going to be a fight for the medals, with Newell just going through the picture there. In gold medal position at the moment, ahead of Thomas Dvorak, the reigning world champion who I fear is going to finish outside the medals this time. He's in fifth place, but a long way behind in terms of points. Something like seven or eight seconds he's got to make up on Lev Lobodin. I can't see Lev Lobodin at the moment, but that would only take him to bronze. I make the difference between Newell and Hammerlein and 15 seconds if they were running at around 4.30 pace. Uh, Hammerlein would have to run 4.15, uh, which isn't going to happen. And uh, so Newell is in very good shape, 106 points, representing about 15 seconds at the pace they would run a 1,500 metres. Well, Jabo comes through with two laps to go. Newell just going through picture. There's Hamelain, and it's around about four seconds. So Newell comfortably ahead of the fin. But there is 800 metres to go. Anything could happen. Newell is a little bit exposed. The group of four ahead of him, he's a couple of metres behind that. He won't bother looking behind just for the time being. But Jabo ahead of his teammate Zivotsky. Jack Rosendahl just trailing that group. And there is Erke Newell to the right-hand side. He's quite short. He's very, very muscular and a very powerful athlete. This sort of distance running, totally alien. Well, certainly this 1,500-meter uh, race is not going to change anything because they're running at... If, uh, they'll speed up a little bit at the end, I would think, but around about 4.44. There's 2.22 at 800 meters. So, really, the medal's already in situ. But there are personal performances, personal times, and personal scores to be accounted for in this final discipline. Magnussen there, one, two, four. Now this is interesting, Dvorak, Magnussen, and right next to Magnussen is Lobodin. Magnussen's in with a shout of taking over the bronze medal position as the athletes head round on the last lap. Magnussen just a second behind Lobodin. So what's going to happen over the last 400 metres? It's still Jabo. Erky Newell is dropping back a wee bit. He's being caught by Magnussen. I don't think it's going to matter as far as Newell is concerned. But Magnussen trying to get headway ahead of Lobodin. And he is about a second ahead of him at the moment. Hamelainen is a long way back. Can the Finn be caught for second place? It would be remarkable if he could. But this is going to be a nice moment for the host nation unless... He's going to be caught by Jack Rosendahl, a very tough customer from the Netherlands. Rosendahl's going to win this one. Jarbo's coming back. It's fantastic. Oh! <laughs> a photograph. Now, where are the medal contenders? 
Lev Lobodin, I think, is coming home now, ahead of Magnussen. Magnussen went too early, so I think Lobodin is safe with the bronze medal. Dvořák's gone across, and the rest are coming through. Newell has just finished. Hamelena has finished too. A lovely finish to two great days of competition. And it won't be very long before these supercomputers they've got for these decathlon result, results work out what has happened. Edward Hamelainen there gave it his best shot. It was a terrific effort by Magnussen to get away from Lev Lobodin. These are the two leaders. Rosendahl cruising, thinking he's won it. But watch Jarbo. An experienced middle distance runner wouldn't let that happen. I think the Dutchman got it anyway. So uh, handshakes all round, and they're absolutely exhausted. The leaderboard at the moment showing that Jack Rosendahl has won this decathlon, but that will all change in a few minutes' time as Erkin Newell flexes his muscles. Estonia are going to be delighted. I suspect this will be their only medal of these championships. And it goes to their favourite son. Lobodin coming through there. Magnussen to his right. That was a great effort. The reigning world champion out of the medals this time. Perhaps injured, but he's had a good two days. Lobodin there. He knew he'd done it. He'd done his calculations beforehand, and Magnussen realised what the consequences were. Hamelainen just coming through into shock. Now the pin-up boy of Estonian athletics. Possibly even the whole of Estonian sport. There we go. Lovely 